Manifestation isn't just some ethereal, mystical journey reserved for spiritual or religious seekers. It's a captivating blend of true magic and scientific principles, interwoven with your unwavering belief in the boundless energy of the universe. In the realm of manifestation and cosmic prayer, nothing is ever wasted. Now, you might find yourself skeptically raising an eyebrow, thinking, is this all just a futile exercise? I've tried manifesting before, and my deepest desires remained elusive. Or perhaps you're lamenting, I set my intentions, and the universe handed me the complete opposite. Fear not, my friends, for I am here to declare with unwavering certainty that manifestation is not some passing fad. Your prayers and manifestations have never fallen on deaf ears, and there's an explanation for any past missteps. But fret not, for I bring you a video that will unveil the secrets of effective manifestation. Prepare to be enlightened, for I shall share with you three powerful prayers that will unquestionably ignite your manifestation journey, transforming your dreams into tangible or inspiring realities. It's time to sit down, calm our minds, and get connected to the universe. So, let's begin without any further delay. Before we embark on this exciting adventure into the fascinating realm of manifestation and the mystical art of prayer, we must first cast a critical eye on the dangerous pitfalls to avoid in our quest to connect with the metaphysical. Consider this. Every emotion we experience, every word we speak, emits a flood of vibrations and frequencies, like ripples in a cosmic pond, weaving an intricate dance with the very fabric of the universe itself. Once released, these energies blend with the grand symphony, resonating with its exquisite vibrations. So, this video talks about how everything in the universe is connected, from the smallest particles to the largest celestial objects. They all give off energy and vibrations that blend together like a cosmic symphony. Now, you might be wondering if the video is getting off topic, but don't tune out just yet. Every word you hear could change the way you see things. Let's get back to the idea of energy. When we try to manifest or pray, we're putting our own energy out into the universe. The big mistake many people make is filling their thoughts with doubt before they even start. Questions like, what if this doesn't work? Or is this even real? Can poison your manifesting process. If you have these doubts, it's pretty certain your manifestation won't work. To truly manifest what you desire, you need to believe in the universe and have faith in the mysterious energies that exist in the non-physical world. When you do that, you'll be amazed at how your desires can become a reality. The universe understands your wishes through energy connection. So, first thing we have to follow is to align our thoughts, emotions and beliefs. When we create a thought, we have to blend it with our emotions. We have to feel what we want and sit back and believe that the universe has heard our prayers and we are not waiting for them to be true. We are ready to receive it. There is a difference between waiting and receiving. When we sit back and prepare to receive, we are truly believing in the universe that it will definitely come true. The trick is when you picture yourself having something you really want, it stirs up feelings inside you. These emotions are the true magnet that attracts what you desire. They like powerful energy signals that kickstart the law of attraction. The law of attraction says that you attract what you think. So ignite that light of your desire and believe in the universe that what you are saying in this prayer is going to come true very soon. The problem is that our minds start interfering. We know what we want in terms of feelings and emotions, but then the mind steps in and starts figuring out how we can get it. You want to feel abundant and the mind tells you that you need a lot of money. Well, that is absolutely true. And it's not your job to worry about what you may get or not, or from where the wishes will be fulfilled. It's the job of the universe. You just have to have faith and sit back to receive the prayer. Whenever these negative thoughts try to embark on or disturb your manifestation process, you have to consciously train your subconscious 
that everything you have wished or desired will come to reality. We have to let go of the limiting beliefs and understand that the universal power is a lot more than we think, and there is more than enough for every one of us. So, let's get started with the prayer. The first thing you have to do is ask for the universe. Ask what you want. Asking for your desires isn't merely about speaking them aloud. It's about achieving a crystal clear understanding of what you truly want. This might sound straightforward, but it's far from easy. To manifest effectively, you need unwavering focus. You must sift through the surface level desires that often cloud our true wishes. Avoid fixating on specific methods. Instead, pinpoint the essence of what you want and why you want it. By focusing on the underlying feelings, you open the door to manifesting things that align with your emotions. Do you seek wealth or rich, or is it a security only money can provide? Or a promotion, maybe a dream house? When you place your focus on the underlying feeling, you open the door to manifesting things that truly bring you that emotion. While it could indeed involve a substantial sum of money, more often than not, it takes a different form, one that's even better than what you initially imagined. This doesn't mean the universe can't deliver it in your preferred way, but sometimes it takes time for all the cosmic pieces to align perfectly. Many people have complex emotions about money, which can hinder their focus on attracting it, often leading them to believe that the law of attraction isn't effective. Another prayer is to expect it. That means believing in the process and believing in the universe. Can you imagine having what you truly want, or does it feel like an impossible dream? Think of it like ordering something online. You choose, pay, and trust it'll arrive. The law of attraction works similarly. Desire drives you towards what you want, but expectation pulls it closer. Many desire things, but lack true belief. To make it practical, you must stay laser-focused, feeling as if you already have your desires. Use tools like visualization, a focus wheel, or a manifestation journal to, to, to create that feeling of having it. It's like believing your order is already on its way. The final prayer is to receive, yes, Although you have not received what you have desired yet, you have to feel it's already there. It's all about aligning our vibrations to the desired reality that is presented in the non-physical world. It is another way of showing gratitude to the universe. When you are ready to receive, you feel the emotions that your desires have turned into reality, and life appears as though it's unfolding in your favor, happening for you rather than against you. You want to start to pay attention to what is happening in your life. Be really open to receiving information from anyone in any way. Prayer isn't limited to religion. It's about expressing desires. We feel a higher force in this perfect universe. When you pray to the cosmos, you're free from religious ties and able to pursue your dreams without restrictions, and the universe responds to your requests. Prayer and the law of attraction work fast when you ask and genuinely expect. Notice things appearing in your life, even small ones. Act with inspiration. It won't magically fill your bank account. Recognizing signs can be tricky, but three powerful prayers have worked wonders in my life.